What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I'm Mike. I'm Danny. I'm Beats and Beats. <laughs> you guys, what is first on the agenda? Shots. Shots. You guys, if you got them at home, salute. Cheers. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. To our first show this Saturday, guys. <laughs> yep. What are you shooting here? It tastes like burning. It's a little okay. Jack Daniels <laughs> fire. A little Jack Daniels cinnamon toast crunch? Nope, Jack fire. Jack fire, there we go. It's cinnamon, I really don't like it. I, I told you this the last time. Yeah, but it's, it's <laughs> well, obviously not. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't feel like it's as sugary as fireball. Like fireballs yeah. is like, oh. I think Fireball just kind of ruined all that things. Tattoo onset me. adult diabetes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I would I would say I like this a lot more than I like Fireball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. it's got the kick of the whiskey more than the kick of the overload of sugar. Yeah, a yeah. big a piece of big red gum. Fucking. That's what it so like uh, we got a show coming up Saturday. How we do. Feel? We have a show coming up, Rancho Cucamonga. Saturday night, October twenty eighth, guys. If you guys are avail- if you guys are around town, I want to fly in. That'd be fucking weird. But if you want to fly, <laughs> Mark will put you up in his house. No, nope. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> you guys, yeah, come down to the show. Let's party. It's our first show. We're excited. We've been working really hard on this set. We got our buddy Adrian DJing the whole night in between the sets. And our other band playing with us will be. Betwixt the Stars, my other band, so I'm going to be playing two sets that night. Double Did duty. You. Yeah. Double dipping it. Yeah, hell yeah, man. That's awesome, guys. Nice. fun night. Yep. Dressing up like a skeleton you get in for free. Come in a costume. Saturday right before Halloween? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, if you dress up in just a costume, oh, dude, you it's said, five bucks. The first Rob time, the first time you in. said, come in a costume, and I was like, bro, they don't have people coming in their costumes. <laughs> that depends on what your costume is. <laughs> You bust out your costume, you get in half price. What if you come as a condom? You, you get paid double. You have to you charge double. You get charged double. Yeah, you come as a condom, right? Oh. Come as a condom? I mean, if, yeah, if you're going to do that. No, no, do that. Not use a condom. We're, I'm just saying come we're, as a condom. Oh, man. We're skating yeah. the line, bro. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Mark, how are we doing on the hair count? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, getting, I'm getting there, dude. It's in the 80s. I see it. I see it. In we the got 80s? the burns. I got to tell you, it's, it's fine. You. No pun intended, it's finally growing on me a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> like oh, I'm, I'm starting to like it. Starting I'm, to grow on you, huh? Starting to grow on me a little bit, you know? Yeah. For yeah. those of you who don't know, they told me I can't shave, and I told them I can't grow a beard, and they want to see what I can grow. So going to see what he could do. This is it. This is... Uh, How long is it now? How many weeks? Uh, Three? Four? I think no. it's been about... So you've been about more than a month. It's been about yeah, a little over a month. A little over a month. End of August. Yeah. A little over a month, dude. It's good. I Didn't think it? he slipped and shaved or something one time, and so it had to reset. And I was like, oh, no, no, oh yeah, because I, tr- I had like shaved the sides, and he was like, don't touch it. Don't fucking touch it. Or your hair, you know? Fuck it. Let your hair still in. Stop touching it, Mark. <laughs> Stop touching it, Mark. You're going to go blind. <laughs> no promises. You know what I mean? Can't promise it anymore. Uh So let's get into our first subject here, guys. Actually, really quick. Really quick. Uh, <laughs> later on, we will be doing a list of. What is it? The top ten slashers based on body count? Well, we got a couple of this tonight. No, yeah, yeah, but uh, we also have uh, scariest movies according to science. Just because this is our Halloween episode, folks. This is yeah, yeah, our Warcast Halloween edition. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna make a guess right now because we haven't seen the list yet as to who is number one in the list of slasher slasher movies by body count, and my guess was Jason just based on the amount of movies he's had. So what's your guess, Rob? You're talking about Jason Bourne? Uh, <laughs> uh, I will go with... Uh, what is Jason Bourne's body count in those movies, though? Oh, you know? man. I'm, I'm going to go with an off-the-wall one. I'm going to say Pinhead. Damn it. Ooh. I think Hellraiser. See, when, when we were talking about that, Hellraiser was in the back of my mind. I'm like, I wonder what Pinhead, what his body count is, because... yeah. It's got to be pretty, pretty big. I uh, yeah. Um, what do you guys got? What do you got? What do you got? And I got to come up with something else. <laughs> Josh is like, no. well, it was pinhead. No, you, 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 he can you, still, he can still have pinhead. I was just the same thing as you. I was thinking of all the different Hellraiser movies, and mm-hmm. then I think he's way past Jason for the amount of body count. Same thing with Freddy Krueger. For the record, 
I've never seen the Hellraiser movies, so that's probably why I don't know that. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of death. There's a lot of that, you know. Yeah. I would have went uh, Jason Voorhees, but like I said, I had Pinhead, and then I was thinking, you know, Freddy's got to have, uh, you know, several. So you picking Freddy? Well, you took Jason, so I guess I'll go <laughs> Freddy, right? I mean, I, I... Running out of options, Josh. <laughs> right. Predator. He's up. Oh, okay. Predator. Right. He's a predator. predator. Still a lot of people. You you can take Pinhead. You think you, you think the predator will you land on that? You think the predator will land on that list? Is it a, considered a scary movie? I mean, it's a horror, sci-fi horror sci-fi. Yeah, movie. yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not against that choice. That's a good choice. I mean, then you have to take into consideration like Alien, mm -hmm. and then is it one alien or do you count all the all aliens? aliens? And then you're saying, okay, well then they took over that whole planet and this whole planet, and you're just like, well, that's fucking astronomical numbers, like. Right. Okay. I get I get some of those just being like eh, no. But are we but, talking on well, what you see on the screen? Thinking. Right. It's not like just kills anything. Because happen. because you would imagine <laughs> that that creature would populate a planet and probably wipe out millions of people like that, dude. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Just, Which one right. would you not want to like? Oh yeah. No, I'm not fucking with that one. I'm out. Uh wait, wait, were you saying which horror character would you not yeah, want? Yeah, like just bit, like based on kill count, like if I saw Pinhead walking, I'm going through those shutters. Yeah, I'm out. Like, yeah. nope. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get out before the chains get me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I would say I would say Jason. I'd run from Jason. Yeah, I feel like you could like jog, because Jason doesn't really like run. Yeah, but anytime you turn around, he's there. Yeah, so I think he's running when you're not looking. But that's the old like 19 like 40s mummy, you know, movie. <laughs> yeah. that, you know, the athletic woman's running away and the zombie. Kills. Honestly, one that would freak me the fuck out would probably be Freddy Krueger because of the dreams, you know? I would be scared to fall asleep, dude. Something about a dude with a fake skin face and a chainsaw does it for me. So uh, you're leather saying... Face. Leather face are you, is Yeah, yeah. So, to say, so you're saying that. you would be more afraid of a character in your dreams because what he just said would terrify the fuck out of me. If I walked into some house and fucking some dude slammed some door open with a chainsaw, yeah, no, no, me, not, yeah, just I freak the fuck out. Guys yeah, fucking I mean, I'll, I mean, I mean, like, not oh. to mention if fucking I saw a fucking xenomorph, I freak the fuck out. If the four of us had to, if we had time to plan out fighting one of these dudes, who do you think we could? Who do you think we could beat? You're not gonna beat like <laughs> Jason or Freddy. Okay, who dies first? Because they're supernatural, right? So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that the poll this week? Who dies, <laughs> who dies first? Who dies first? <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know, man. I'm pretty quick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Johnson, like, I gotta run fast. I just gotta run faster than you guys. Right? <laughs> That's it, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, so we'll get back to that list a little bit later. Uh, Rob, you saw something on the internet the other day you wanted to talk about. Yeah, Adobe released or is releasing because they manufactured a dress that now changes designs on the fly. So like it's a full dress, it kind of looks like a Game Boy screen and it comes in different designs already preset and it can flow, transition from one to the other. Or there's even a responsive pattern where it looks like liquid and if you move, it's yeah. liquid sloshing on a digital dress. Now. Like I said, it looks kind of like Game Boy graphics, like two tone and just the, the way the sh cells shade and everything. But you can already see where this is going. And this is about to get like, oh, fuck, we're going to be wearing advertisement billboards and just pretty much, hey, you wear this contraption and we can do a full body scan on you now. Mm -hmm. OK, good. You can be alive for this long. Go be a billboard. <laughs> Do you think eventually it'll just be like you buy the one outfit and then you just change whatever designs on it, you know? See, if that oh, yeah, got you they, into like a football game or something though, would that be worth it? Do you you go to like a well, football like game advertising? and wear your clothes and have whatever advertising? Yeah, but then someone hacks your screen and next thing you know, your Pornhub account is dicks all like, over it. <laughs> now, but here's the thing though. If everybody starts to be able to advertise, I mean, does it really... Is it, you know what I'm saying? Like, is it worth them paying people to do it? Like, would it be worth a lot to be able to do that if everybody has the capability to fucking advertise stuff? I think if it sells shit, they'll fucking do it. Yeah. You know, I think if it sells shit, 
then they'll fucking find a way and do shit like that. Yeah. You know, if it makes money. Doing different types of like two piece, one piece, and this the art. Like this, looking at what they did in Las Vegas with the sphere mm -hmm. and the graphics crazy, on that man. thing. And you're just seeing all these videos of these eyes looking through your windows at night. And you're just like, oh, fuck, yeah, cool. That's how I've always felt about Vegas. Someone's always <laughs> peeking in, you know what I'm saying? But you're just like, uh, it's a little creepy where we're going with technology and how detailed we can get. And you're just like, get ready. It's just going to get worse. Yeah, uh, that's fucking nuts, dude. I don't know, man, like technology and I've, one of the things that I think would be cool to have, though, is like they probably already do. I don't even know. I didn't look into it, but like I would love a GPS system in my glasses. That would be dope. Don't doesn't Google make our meta make uh, Ray-Ban glasses that, that do that? I think they do some shit that's like what, that. Um, yeah. It's like used for podcast recording and live stream recording. It's an actual pair of glasses that there has a is. camera on there and then it has a built in mic. So oh, you shit. just wear them and it picks up what you're seeing and saying, and then you can just use it for a video feed. Apple what makes is, Apple makes one too that you view through it and then uh, like your windows are up. I saw that they were developing like a contact lens as well to do something with that. I don't sure know. They are. That's you fucking saw nuts, live, dude. right? Yes. The movie I lent you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now they get the contact lens. Yeah, dude, it's, it's fucking nuts, man. Uh, technology is awesome and fucking terrifying at the same time. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so, and there's a lot going on that's amazing, but there's at the same time, there's a lot going on that's pretty fucking scary. You know? Yeah. You know what I think is scary is some of these other things that uh, you happen to mention of like With, these credits of clothing for like third party services, you know what I'm saying? Like auctions for NFT garments? Yeah, did you see this? Yeah, like, so I saw, I saw people are wasting money on $700 like, for a garment for a, Why? like a, what is it? Like a, your avatar and shit like no, that? No, it just, it's just an NFT. Like, look at the design of this shirt. It's not even a real shirt. It's just a picture of a shirt and you just bought it. Like. Those uh, NFTs, uh, it went pretty downhill. Pretty so quick, you're huh? saying I don't get a shirt with the picture of the fucking shirt? No, you got a picture. Of, you get the picture of the shirt. <laughs> that's the picture of the shirt, and that's what you paid for. And then somebody screenshots it, and it's worth nothing. You know what Bonkers. I mean? Bonkers. Bonkers, man. That sucks. Yeah. yeah. yeah Fuck, dude. You know how hard I have to work just to pay bills, and these guys are blowing it on fucking pictures. What? Right. Pictures of shirts? Yeah. I don't understand the NFT game, dude. I've never, it's never made sense to me. I yeah, do, I don't I, know. I don't get it. I don't know. It's a rich man's game. Is it a, is it a game? I mean, I don't get it. Like, what is in it? It's what, like an accessory. Know? Just an accessory. Just, Where hey, look you, what I bought. Well, what, what is the value of an NFT? Okay, though, is what I'm saying. so, so yeah, basically, it's, you it's, could take your NFT and then you could put it on your fucking dress that you were talking about. Do you and remember then... when iPhones first came out and someone invented an app where it was like $1,000 and it was just like an exclusive diamond wallpaper and it just looked like a shiny diamond and everyone's like, fuck yeah. So what you're just, a thousand was, dollars? You see what I'm saying? So and what you're saying like, is, is this is just stupid bullshit. It's just stupid bullshit. Like, hey, you guys like stupid bullshit? I'm gonna sell you some stupid bullshit, bro. If you paid a thousand dollars for your fucking background, <laughs> if if people are willing to pay a thousand dollars, the crazy frog ring back tones and like, hey, but that hey. was dope though. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> with that right there, that see, was the little dope. motorcycle frog dude. He was ring <laughs> Oh, I need to have that every time someone calls me. Like, fuck, why? <laughs> we lost Josh. Oh, <laughs> Can you do that again? <laughs> Holy shit, man. I almost came out my nose. <laughs> Some of this shit we don't really need. We just waste a lot of fucking money on stupid shit. And you're just like, wait, what's this wee shit? <laughs> I ain't <laughs> buying that. I ain't buying no picture of a shirt. I no, work, no, no, no. I work really hard to stay broke, bro. Like, I <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, the, some of the shit we do spend money on, and you're just like, oh, wow. This I've worked really hard to live paycheck to paycheck. Exactly, right? dude. <laughs> we're, all living, we're all working really hard to stay broke, man. That's what's up. Oh, I feel you on that. But every now and then, you're just like... Let me say it like this. I wish I had money I that I could blow on shit like that. Like, seriously. If you had all that money, what's the first thing you would blow? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Yep. You're welcome. 
I get no comment, man. No I'm, comment. Not, I'm, not, I'm not even going to entertain. We're just going to move on. Just going to move on. Uh, I just say smoke from the biggest joint you've ever seen. <laughs> All right, All right. Let's, let's, move on, let's move on to our first list, guys. Uh, our first list is the top 20 scary movies based off science. Danny, you want to give a bit more info on this one? Yeah, so uh, there's a study they've done for the last few years where they've taken um, the, basically, I think it's about 200 people. They get a baseline heart rate of everybody. They watch the movie. They get a baseline, like, average, and then they get the peak. And then they take the the difference and they've rated what the scariest movies are according to science. And like I said, it's it's a lot done by what your body responds to. Yeah. The, like stress and heart rate or just heart rate? rate yeah. yeah, like your heart rate fucking Yeah, so I think I believe they've done it for three years. This is the third year they've done it. Okay. And uh the list is kind of interesting to me because I feel like it, the, the first 10 movies that rounded out are relatively newer movies. Uh, oh, you mean the top 10? The top 10 yeah. of the 20 that they did. A lot of them are newer movies. I mean, you're looking. Yeah. So we've got Sinister, Insidious, The Conjuring. Are we just listing them off right now? I'm just, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you know, I'm just going to give a few, right? So. Yeah. But, but then when you get to like the second half of the list, you start getting into the Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, yeah. Chainsaw Massacre. So the one that surprises me the most is number 20 and it's Scream because I don't really consider that a very that scary movie. Get you? That, that no, one's, he's that one's saying it's like, not no, like, scary. That, that's, I'm saying it gets me that it's on the list. Like I'm surprised yeah, like it's I didn't, I didn't find 20. Scream like the f scariest movie. It was, it was entertaining, it was funny. And, yeah. yeah. And it movie. really, there were parts that were like, oh shit, but. We'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't. Yeah, Isn't it, Glitter that pop movie? Yeah, with Mariah Carey, that movie was fucking pretty scary. Fucking scary. Okay, so Glitter that's on why it's list? up there. Okay. It's yeah, before. it's underneath The Conjuring. That's fucking funny. That's dude. why I was trying to put it together. Wait, is, is there that another, the is there a Carey horror movie one? that's called Glitter? It can't be the Mariah Carey movie. No, that's, there's that's no way. Producer Jess is on it. If it's Mariah Carey, <laughs> though, I'm not even going to doubt it. I Dude, think it should be number one. I think it needs that to be higher. Was if, you, if you had to watch that movie, I'm pretty sure it was a pre... It yes. is, it's the Mariah Carey. That's fucking hilarious. That's hilarious. All right. Know. All right, that wins. But uh, like, you see the ring, right? Yeah. Well, you got Crossroads right below that. That's the Britney Spears movie. I, I wish we had a number again because I can't. I'm like trying to. So the ring, after screen, the ring, the ring, I didn't, I didn't really find the ring really scary until the bitch came out of the TV. The only part that scared the shit out of me in the ring was when they first find the body in the closet. It's all like, but you, <laughs> know what, you know what? You know what? You know suck dry. Yeah. What is not on there is the Blair Witch Project. That's and a great. When scary that movie. one came out. The hype to try to see that movie oh, in yeah. a theater, just to try to watch this movie in a theater took months. Mm -mm. You had to wait for it to come around to the theater near to you and it's like, okay, we're finally gonna show it here. Now we're finally showing it here. Now we're showing it here. To see this fucking movie and be like, oh, that sucked. But yeah. just to watch it. That was it. so disappointing, yeah. yeah. But the hype behind it yeah. and the, the promotional, oh. I, I'm surprised that's not on there. Is there anything on this list you think should be higher? Because I think The Exorcist being, it's like, number, Exorcist it's like number 16. Higher. It's like number 16. Mass, Chainsaw Massacre should be higher. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So um, you, you want to just list, uh, list them well, really quick? Or? So like Quiet Place. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was man. a really like, good one. I feel like that should be up there. Um, you know, when you go down at Sinister, Insidious, The Conjuring, um, Glitter. Glitter. Glitter on there. Uh, hereditary Glitter. Uh, paranormal activity it follows the conjuring 2 uh babadook. babadook babadook wasn't that the comic with the dog no that's marmaduke oh, that's <laughs> the wrong one bro wrong visit wrong the Duke. ring of course we put we got crossroads there a quiet place uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 28 Days Later. That's a good one. Which, which uh, that movie was, when that came out, man, that was... That was pretty terrifying. Because that's infected. Right. Those aren't zombies, those are infected. So we've got, yeah. then, then we've got The Exorcist, uh, Hush, Hush, It, and Scream. But, I mean, like I said, 28 Days Later, when that, when that first scene came and the dude got bit, mm. and then it was like instant, like, kill this dude or he's going to kill you. 
That was that was that moment in that movie was wait, like, wait, oh, wait, what? Fuck. Like, oh, oh shit. shit. Like this yeah. is yeah. that was just intense. Has anybody seen number one on this list? Sinister? I have not. I have not. I've seen it on have Netflix. Yes. And it? I haven't seen it. Um like I was saying to Josh, I think Insidious should have probably been number one on this. It, which is it's oh. number two on this list, folks. So yeah. yeah on, on, just based on this. But like here's what you gotta consider is a Literally. lot of these older ones. <laughs> A lot of these older ones are still holding up yeah. with the test of time because these are the ones that laid the groundwork for what we know how to get to this. Right. Uh, You're talking uh, about no, like absolutely. the Exorcist and takes off, chase it, Chainsaw yeah, Massacre. Yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th. Like these are all like the grandfathers and godfathers of horror and like... How do you take into the next step of that? Oh, well then you got Babadook and you got... Uh, you know, Tooth Fairy, Candyman, you got all these other ones that kind of just, okay, now the next one. Next the one. movie with The Rock? What? The Tooth Fairy? No. Uh, <laughs> <shut> up. <laughs> no, there's a... Yeah. Darkness <laughs> Falls. Darkness <laughs> Falls, right. I know oh, what you're talking about. Oh, the two deaths, when you said yeah. Tooth Fairy. It's Did you darkness. think the same movie as me? Don't lie. No, the the no, I didn't. I didn't, but <laughs> I didn't guy, think Darkness Falls, and I've seen that movie, and I always thought it was funny that it was the, it's basically the fucking Tooth Fairy, but, uh, Just, yeah, if that's the Tooth Fairy, bro, fuck that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm going to leave my tooth, mm, fucking no pillow. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. The veneers. Yeah. By the way, the whole... Like when your kids lose teeth, and like it's weird that like parents have boxes of like their kids' teeth have and hair and shit. Have you seen that like, movie? Like, you have know, you like, seen that Tooth Fairy movie? I've not. No. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. That would be crazy. Um. So how do you think this list stacks up to what, like your personal like top few horror movies, in your opinion? Like how does this stack up to that? Um. I'm. I don't watch a lot of horror movies. Like I'm. Like I watch. You know, all the, you know, the Nightmare on Elm Streets and the fucking, uh, all the Jason movies. Like, dude, the, are the Jason movies even on here? The nope. uh, Friday the 13th, right? Oh, no, right. that's... Uh, yeah, Friday yeah. the 13th. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, dude, I didn't even make the list, which is crazy to me. You think that would be up there before Scream? Definitely. Dude, to Definitely me, above Crossroads. to me, the scariest movie on this list has got to be Texas Chainsaw Massacre. For real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But then again, do you think... Uh, any of the remakes are of the better. Oh, no, that, I mean, but that whole story, yeah. But, like, yeah, the original's great, and the the remake I've seen, there's a few that are really good, but... Um, I just, I think that that character, that's fucking scary shit. That, that is terrifying. I think, I think that there's some movies where it's like, oh, there's a ghost over here. It's like, well, fucking, I'm just going to go over here then. I can just get out of here. Uh, Leatherface, you ain't... Speaking of ghosts, 13 mm -hmm. Ghosts is a good movie. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. That shit's dope. That uh, what's it's the other one? Cheesy. Cabin in the Woods? It's a little cheesy, Cabin right? In the Woods. Cabin in the like, Woods. I like Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, Cabin That's in like the one Woods. of my go-tos. Yeah. It's oh, dope. Good. What about like, you, Josh? You got any, any movies that are on this list? How come The Human Centipede is not on there? The Human Centipede, dude. Why Holy is that shit. not on there? Have you seen The Human Centipede? I can't watch. I, 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 uh... Certain things like no. I know what the movie's about, and that's about why I'm cheeks. like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna put myself through it. I get it. It's wow. Well, that's my wife. She's Do you like, think no, that was I our generation's that downfall? Was but, human? Is that game? where we fucked up? Like that's where we <laughs> fucked. Up. We made this movie. Like that's where shit took a turn. We made more we're than one of them. Yeah, punished. I know. But the just the whole like, well, where'd you get that idea? Well, it started with two girls. And and you're just like, oh fuck! Like, where? What was the pinpoint of where we fucking went wrong? I, I dude, I would have. What would I give to be a fly in the wall for that movie pitch? Check this out, dude. <laughs> like, we're gonna take a person. There's just three people. And another person. And they're all attached. You're never gonna guess where. Fucking <laughs> great. And then the one guy in the casting, I call middle. Fucking. <laughs> That's a little Ooh, too funny. That they're movie all connected is to the. Ears. Did you see the second one? Where they did there's the a number, prison. there's yeah. number like two, <laughs> dude. There's a, the second one is like in the, in the prison, right? The yes. one in the prison, and they like attach everybody in the prison. <laughs> like there's like a huge line, dude, of people that are. You thought the first one couldn't get any worse, yeah. it did. First one was. Are they gonna make a number three? I think there. I think is. there is a third oh, one. Fine. Yeah. 
Yeah. Human Can we get a ruling on this? Is there a is there third? Is there a third human, human centipede, centipede movie? movie? Don't look for images. Don't look at images. Look. <laughs> Fuck. That's gross. She's like, are you really making me look this up? Like you said, like you said, the pitch of that's got to be like, hear me out. Hear me out, dude. Hear me out. I don't know. Shark made it. There was. There's a third yeah. one? 2015. Yeah. Oh, what are uh, they on now? The final the sequence. The final sequence? Yeah. Did we get all fucking complicated with what we fucking... They went full circle. There's dude. nothing after that. There's <laughs> nothing after circle. that. Where do you ever put it in, though? Where does it... It's all based on an <laughs> it's IV. It's all fucking... It's all what? Based on an IV. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, right? Dude. Just put him on like a giant hamster wheel. Why the fuck did Glitter make this list, dude? What is... Because, because I put it on there. It's a pretty fucking scary movie. Because I had... I had, to, Carey's acting I had to stay true to the actual list. To the actual list. And I had to put, I mean, that's a pretty scary movie, so. That's fucking hilarious, that's, dude. That's our version. Have you seen Fear.com? Mm. No. Steven Dorf. Um, it's basically exactly what it sounds like. There's a website that you log on to and you watch this guy basically torture his victim to death and you bid in on what you want him to do to her. I but remember hearing about this movie. Seen, yeah. After you sign onto the website, the girl who he's killed way long ago, apparently her ghost haunts this website and it comes after you once you log in fully and you watch one of his shows, then it comes and chases you and your worst fear basically kills you. Hmm. One yeah. guy is afraid of being in a car accident and he lands up crashing his own car because he's smoking a cigarette and lights his pants on fire. So like whatever you're afraid liar, of. Dude. One girl's afraid of pants. bugs and everything turns into bugs. It's a pretty interesting movie. I'm afraid of titties. Oh, whatever no. your fear is, well, that's titties. a good way to go. Oh. Just die with a titty in your mouth. Oh. It could no. be worse, man. Uh, did you see that TikTok video of that one lady who was talking about... Um, Worst thing she ever did was she was going down on her guy and he landed up having a heart attack and died mid finish. I promise you that's how he wanted to go. <laughs> that, <laughs> was the, that was the joke. Like she said, the last thing he said was, oh shit. And then he just died. Dude. Isn't that the Batman villain Deathstroke? Deathstroke. <laughs> no. Wait, what did you say? The Batman villain Deathstroke. Deathstroke. That's funny. Yeah. That's really funny. <laughs> 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 Who's gay? So, based off that premise, what's your worst fear? How are you dying? Uh, titties. Titties? <laughs> Being buried with titties. Titties. That's the worst. It's, oh, God. It sounds so horrible, but so. Uh. But for real, though, what's your, what's your fear, dude? Are you scared of the rest of them? Titties. He's like, I'm sticking with it. My titties. For me, I, am, I don't like spiders, so I'd probably die via spiders, dude. You know what I mean? Not drowning? You probably wouldn't want to die. I am. I am pretty terrified of the ocean. I'm drowned. I'm just swimming. I'd probably At drown. At night, it'd though. probably be. It'd probably, dude, the irrational fear as a child of thinking there's a shark in the pool. Fucking like seriously, dude. I thought that shit for quite some time. Hmm. Comes out of the drain. That's it's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. You still, you still look around the drain pool. Fuck the shark. I, I had a. I had a point in my childhood where I watched Jaws and I. I got into a pool at one point. And I was like, fuck this. Make sure there's no yeah. sharks. And then I realized I was in a fucking pool and like it ain't coming through the drain. But still, maybe, dude. You never know. <laughs> maybe. Snakes be coming out of toilets, dude. You never know. Hey, you could find a destination where that dude got his ass sucked into the pool filter. <laughs> Glad he finished that, that sentence. <laughs> dude got his ass sucked. <laughs> Wait, human centipede. Human centipede, dude. Full we'll circle, dude. We'll there circle. it is. <laughs> Unless you were thinking of Zach Galifianakis and Out Cold. No. <laughs> That's a different hot tub scene. All right, you guys. I think it's time to take a break. Uh, we will be right back. What's up, guys? Danny and Mark from The Last Days of War. What's going on? Just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages. It's we the, got the TikTok and the Instagram and the... Uh, Facebook and threads. Those are all The Last Days of War. And X is The Last Days of War because the is too long. Uh, check out our merch. That's a great way to support the band. It is in our bios on all of our social media pages. Anything else, Danny? Have a good one. Back to the show. And we're back. And front. Yeah. Uh, we took a little brace keys. You know what I'm saying? What's second on the agenda? 
shots. Oh, fuck. Did we even set them up, dude? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> right. Rob, tell me a little bit about our show coming up while I'm serving these. Well, we have a show coming up this Saturday at the uh, Rancho Cucamonga famous Goodfellas. Uh, it's a bar and nightclub, 21 and up. Starts at 9 p.m. Come dressed as a skeleton. You get in for free. Come dressed in a costume. It's five dollars. And if you decide to say fuck Halloween, we're charging your ass ten bucks. Uh, we got Josh's other band, Betwixt the Stars, opening it up. We got our buddy DJ Adrian Estrella DJing all night in between the sets, closing yes, out and everything. So it'll be a fun night. It's a dead man's party at Goodfellas. Cheers to the dead man's party. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Still sucks. The fucking. <laughs> I'm glad we're almost done with that bottle, dude. <laughs> Speaking of sucking, we're coming up on Halloween. Okay. Hell of a transition, buddy. And, and with <laughs> trick or treating. You always got some sort of candy treat or something that you weren't expecting, like an apple or, okay. you know, like, kind of oh, here's, here's a chewy bar, you know, or like a granola bar. I'm like, what the fuck? What was like one of the weirdest ones you've gotten? A uh, toothbrush? I just said it. Yeah. A toothbrush. I got a toothbrush one time. I got toothpaste, dental floss. I've done all that. It's yeah. happened. What's the one of the weirdest shit you've got trick or treating, Josh? Probably like stickers. Stickers? Yeah. I think oh. I got a little Jesus pamphlet from a few or, people. Like, yes, that. dude. The Jesus pamphlets. Yeah. yeah. yeah always kind of like. It's... Well, if you went to the haunted house of the church, I can understand. Well, that, yeah, but... Okay, sure. No, I've literally yeah. had seen people hand them out like trick or treating. Yeah, right. like just the door to door. Not like I went to a church and they gave me a pamphlet. At Give a out Halloween candy canes. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Wrong holiday, just, buddy. Just random house. A Here's some peeps. Giving mm. me like, mm. there, you know. There's a great TikTok. This this woman's on there and she's like, we don't celebrate Halloween because of our beliefs, but uh, we like to dress up on Halloween. And then and it cuts to candy. another guy and he's like, that is that's literally Halloween. There's Halloween. nothing else behind it. Like that's, that's all it is. You know, <laughs> like you're literally celebrating Halloween. Yeah, that's all there is. There's getting candy, yeah. there's dressing up and getting candy. That's but it. There's no like satanic ritual, folks. It's just, <laughs> it's just, not like it's a Christian holiday. If it's you just them liking to dress up in bondage. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, dude. Who does this? Whoever's in this video. I don't know. You say, what are they, Jehovah's Witnesses? Right. <laughs> the coolest thing I, uh, there was an old, older lady across the street where I used to live, and she would have a tray of like silver dollars, and she would just let the kids like pick the silver dollars out. And so my cousins and I, we would get like four or five different masks and just come around and, and rob this make, whole yeah, thing. We just, cool. just, we'd make like five bucks, ten bucks, ten bucks. <laughs> Dude, yeah. she had a group of them, dude. So we, we we just you came back as each member of NSYNC each time around. <laughs> huh? Hey man, I would. It worked. Her husband hurt. was probably dead, and it was probably his coin collection. The probably, best, dude. the best was the houses that Not gave the, the king <laughs> size. gave the full candy oh, yeah. bars, right? Yeah, or bags. Dude. Oh yeah. Like here's a here's a bag of something. Like, you got to go to the nice cities for that, dude. Take a little drive. It's my Fucking dad's house. house. Drive to the nice, to my the nice area of town. Who's the richest uncle we know? Let's go to their neighborhood. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> you know. Hey, what can I mean? we park in front of your house for like an hour, dude? There's Two. a there's a where my sister in law lives. They have a whole block where like they literally have an in and out truck for like like trick or treating, and then they have. Popcorn machines and fucking. Are you saying yeah, I this go is where? to your house and trick or treat the, the, and they gave me a double double? Yeah, literally, dude. Like they had gonna a fucking your line. Five masks. Right? <laughs> you gotta borrow your five masks. <laughs> <laughs> now that's that's worth it, dude. Fucking Rob eating five fucking double doubles <laughs> on the corner. <laughs> the only downside to that to to going over there is like everything's fucking uphill, dude. It's the worst, but it's fucking awesome yeah, to go. My nice kids. Nice. That's, Whenever we go over there, it's fucking pretty cool. That's the price you pay for that's the price full you pay, candy bars. You got yeah, it. You got to walk some hills. You Make know, my fat ass fucking walk it off, dude. You know what I mean? Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, what else? You got? What, what are some of your favorite Halloween candies? Uh, Danny told me about this new one. Oh, Reese's uh, Reese's has a new one out. Reese's I believe peanut butter cup. Now, if you were a fan of the potato chip. 
and you're a fan of the pretzel inside. You got to get your know. peanut butter cups now from Walmart. I didn't apparently. know there was a pretzel and a potato chip. Recess. That, I, that was literally I used know. to me this when you said really? that. Yeah. Like, You've never seen that? Yeah. I've seen I've them. Yeah. They're good. It's like it's little good. pieces of a pretzel inside the cup. Yeah, so mm. it kicks it with the salt from both of them, but it, it's the texture because most people put their Reese's on a potato chip or a pretzel and heat it up or whatever, and like little treats. Do they though? Most yeah. people? Is it just you? No. <laughs> Is it just? I mean, I do. Don't get me wrong. I I get creative with my my Reese's cups, but how deep into the Walmart. high nights are we going here, dude? <laughs> well, I mean, you got the white chocolate ones now, and you know, but anyways, Walmart's got this uh, limited edition Reese's cup <laughs> where they have worms inside their peanut butter cups. I, dude, I heard they're not even gonna recall. They're not recalling. Okay, them, so here's the best part it's gross. is. How do you, I, I think this is the best ploy by parents ever done, ever. Uh, you got to give us all your peanut butter cups. We got to inspect them. We, we just yeah. have to inspect these peanut butter cups. Well, those are my favorite candies my kids usually That's why you me. say, hey, these might have worms. I got to inspect it. And you take a bite of each one. Bro, if you're handing out Tootsie Rolls on Halloween, fucking stop, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is that about, dude? That really? shit, dude, that shit enrages rolls? me, dude. He acted so offended, right? <laughs> Dude, you act like you've never gotten Smarties before. Dude, dude, Smarties are bomb, dude. I like Smarties, bro. Fuck, dude. Yeah, I'll take a I Smarties used to like version. drawing on the fucking sidewalk the truck too, but I grew up at some point. Like, so <laughs> well, wait a minute. What are you still I doing trick or treating? <laughs> Drive I'll take a Smartie truck. over a fucking Tootsie Roll, dude. If you're if you're handing out Tootsie Rolls, get the fuck what out. What about of Tootsie here. Pops? Tootsie Pops. Yeah. Oh yeah, those are good. Okay, so that's Until acceptable. You get to the Until you get to the middle, you fucking chuck you that. Chuck that? You just you toss it? Oh, okay. Yeah. I just I don't know, dude. Tootsie rolls. I just... used to break the stick and keep it under my face mask. No, I will say they have like the different flavored Tootsie mm-hmm. rolls that are like you know like the blue and the green ones or it's whatever. A damn you like blow those? pop? That's They're all it is. Good. It's yeah. a blow pop, <laughs> and instead of gum, you have a Tootsie roll. A Tootsie roll, roll yeah. The, the Tootsie pops, shit. yeah. But it ends up getting really weird because they do have like that lime oh. flavor and then you hit the chocolate and you're like, what the fuck, fuck is this? What? Is oh. it chocolate though? It doesn't taste like chocolate, dude. Tootsie Roll is not chocolate. Whatever it is, it's it's not chocolate. You don't think it's chocolate? You I don't, don't think, think it's chocolate. chocolate. What do you think it That's is? That's like when people call Nutella chocolate. That shit is not chocolate. Do you think they're bro. just like cat turds or something? Like <laughs> <laughs> rolling up little cat turds and fucking Tootsie Roll. I'll fucking, I'll, I'll fucking pop some cat turds before you eat a Tootsie Roll, dude. Don't fucking uh, ask me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing now? Uh, we might have a new poll this week. I think Mark's going to work. Would you cat rather turd? eat a Tootsie Roll or a cat, cat turd? turd? Say that shit for Mike, dude, not me. Oh. But, <laughs> that I don't know. Mark, Mark just said it. Man. Yeah. So what are, you, what are some of your favorite slash worst candies, bro? Did we, did we, did we, did we, get, a, did we get an answer? I can't uh, fucking talk Some of now. my work. Well, Smarties are a horrible fucking choice. Dude, I, I mean, I'm just saying I would take one over a fucking Tootsie Roll. I'm not saying it's my favorite. Well, like, okay, don't get me wrong. Hear me out. I like the the strawberries, you know, where they look like a strawberry. It's just the wrapper. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Those. But they're all they like grandma's also, purses. Yeah. But they all give you, like, the rest of them. The rest of them I don't fucking care for. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Strawberries? Like, here's the better I think I've scotch. Only ever seen and you're yeah. Just get the bag of strawberries. Well, yeah, that's Those what I'm good. saying. But you're trick or treating. They just give you random shit. Like, oh, and keep it. But then again, like now being an adult and having to buy all this fucking candy, it's like, okay, you come between this hour, you get this candy, and then you come between this hour, I'm just gonna get a little bit lesser, and okay. I'm going to give you more of a sugar product as opposed to a chocolate base because I ran out of the chocolate ones I ate them myself. But now, <laughs> now we're into airheads and we're into, you know. Bro, like, airheads are fucking top tier, dude. Airheads are good. Uh, yeah, like you start getting into like your sugar bases, your fun dip, you know, a little, a little pixie stick, whatever it is. Um, and then you go into the real cheap one. Like, hey, I bought this shit at the 99 cent store just to fill a bucket. Here you go. Yeah. Like, fill your pillowcase. It just all tastes like hard wax. Fucking. Uh, <laughs> But like here's the thing. Now leaders, dude, are just fucking hard wax, bro. Those are fucking the worst, dude. You know what the worst is? Is I think getting stuck on candy duty. Have At your house? At your house. house. When you were stu- like, hey, I got to get ready. And it's like, okay, well, you're getting ready right during the prime time of trick-or-treating hours. Like someone's got to watch the door, make sure the kids are getting Okay. 
Have you dressed Bro. up and done this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Bro, I'm always just fucking, ah, fucking open the door, fucking scare the shit out of the kids, dude. Ah. Yeah. And whoever's left, they get some candy, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> they don't run. <laughs> they, they don't run. They get, they get candy, a fucking dude. tootsie roll, little bastard. Yeah. I'm just dressed like Rob the whole time. Like, I, I've scared the shit out of the kids dressed as like Slender Man. <laughs> opening the door. <laughs> they're just nice. like, nope. They walk Do you over. remember uh, Halloween, uh, Jesse, we had a friend who used to oh. dress up oh. as Leatherface. Okay. Leatherface. <clears throat> and he would take a real chainsaw and we would like, he would go into like kind of the not good areas of like Pomona and like <laughs> chase people around. You mean all of Pomona? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Anything below Gary? <laughs> so, so I think we spent a few Halloweens oh. hanging out with now, Jesse. Now, did he at least take the, like, the fucking teeth off of it or just full yes. on chains? No, no, no. Did he, he, took he the have the teeth He off? took the teeth off. I think this was a debate because I think he did it one time with the teeth on and he realized it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> that sounds like a horrible yeah. idea, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, he's walking around like literally like kind of the rougher areas of Pomona. Yeah. Dressed well, like guess, other I mean, face, chasing people around. Well, I yeah. guess you got to defend yourself if shit gets, gets crazy. <laughs> Especially in New York. I chased somebody around with a chainsaw. They attacked me, so I then I cut them up. Cut them up, dude. Leatherface. Self-defense. Uh, Halloween's the perfect time to cover a murder, dude. You know what I mean? No one's going to know that's real blood on you. Right. So, fuck yeah. You dude. just walk around with a chainsaw. Uh, Halloween. What are some of your favorite costumes you've ever you've ever done? Adult or child? One year, I made my own Frank the Bunny costume from Donnie Darko. Oh, nice. And then I just sat at the bar all quiet and stared at people. <laughs> like, I'd be sitting there I like watching. that Rob fully commits to characters, dude. Like, just fucking fully commits. Just be sitting there watching TV and then just turn to the person <laughs> next to me and the bunny skeleton mask that I made. And it was like, okay, bro, look at the TV. and You're going to die. Go back to watching my TV. This is great. Yeah. For me, I uh, probably I was probably last year when I was I was dressed as Chong from Cheech and Chong with my buddy. Yeah. And then one of my favorite things that I ever saw was my cousin dressed as Party Boy one year, <laughs> and like fully committed to like thong the fucking silver thong, and oh, he had the boy. tearaway pants. First house we go to, dude. He has the he has the fucking boombox boom with the song too, so it's like mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts. he the guy opens the door, he rips his pants off, he runs into the dude's house <laughs> and starts dancing in his thong, dude. And I'm I'm just like, bro, we're gonna oh my god, what is he doing? And he comes out, the guy's just like, that's it, dude. You want Halloween? Here you go. Here's the whole bucket. I'm done. And he fucking closed the door. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. What about you, Dad? You got any favorite Halloween moments? Uh, a buddy of mine, we went uh, trick or treating, and we dressed up, and we went, we dressed up as, as werewolves, and we got the whole kind of latex fucking kit, and you use the glue and the shit and all that, and it was great. We had a great time, and it was like the, we were so proud of our costumes because we looked pretty cool. But then when it came time to take the mask off, um, it didn't want to come off. Did you use like fucking without, gorilla glue without taking layers of skin. So it was Ooh. it was one of those like really cool fucking Halloween experiences followed by like excruciating pain. He's still wearing the prosthetics. <laughs> Can't get it off. I mean, I I'm, I try. It's, it's, yeah. Fuck, dude, that sounds painful as shit. It sucked, man. Me and me and my buddy were literally like, I remember it being in the bathroom at my grandmother's house, and we're just just peeling off what you can. You know, and then being like, just yank it, dude. Just go, go. Just, you know. Uh, did you have like sections of your skin pull off on your face? A little bit, yeah. A little bit? Fuck, a little bit, dude. some skin and stuff. So, I mean, like I said, it was cool because we had fun, but that part of it was not fun at all. Yeah. What about you, Josh? Fun-wise and horrible-wise. I think worst costume I ever had to wear would have been a work-related party. Okay. And our boss picked our costumes. <laughs> And he decided we were going to go with a Shrek theme. And I got stuck being the fucking gingerbread man. <laughs> Dude, is and there I pictures had, of this? Yeah. <laughs> I had to wear this costume all day long and try and work in it at a desk. Like it's big ass fucking head that I could not see out of. 
Uh, well, this child could go fuck itself. <laughs> it was horrible, and like he was Shrek. Um, of course, he was. Well, he sounds like it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, it should he have been the, the king part. at this point, like the right? Girls from Copy were three blind mice, so like they tried to follow the story and whatnot, but having to wear that. Hey, you idiots! You're gonna be the blind mice. I'm you gonna be know Shrek. What the fuck you're doing? I'm Shrek. I know um, what I'm doing. Could be the main character. Did he wear a Shrek costume or did he paint himself green? Fucking full on costume. Had the chest and everything. <laughs> had the hands and then uh, had the mask. Did he have the voice? He kind of sounded like that normally. Okay. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Good size Hawaiian dude. Hawaiian Japanese. Um, I think coolest story would have been a few years ago. I'm trying to think how old my kids were. Uh, my wife and my kids and I went to one of Alex friends Halloween parties mm -hmm. and we just randomly entered the costume contest and because all of us were dressed as Ninja Turtles we fucking won by default as a group as a group That's we won awesome. the costume contest and we landed up winning a I think it was a blood orange vodka bottle nice and some shot glasses and stuff but we really only won because my daughter I think she was not even a year old she was a tiny ass little ninja turtle and then the rest of us had the costumes on so we won like everybody thought the kid was cute that was the only reason mm -hmm. we won and they didn't have that many good costumes that year but for memory wise that was probably the best thing we had because i'm not really into halloween i don't really like to dress up i get the fact that it's for kids i'm yeah. all let's go trick-or-treating that's fine where we live we don't have a lot of kids so we don't have the knock on our door we usually go to downtown upland for their festival stuff it's easier to do that for sure but um, dressing up wise, not really my thing. Uh, so for this year, I'm going to dress up again. But um, worst costume other than that, gingerbread costume would have been the Feedy costume. I think you saw the which one? The Feedy costume. Oh yeah, fox PJs. That was <laughs> fucking embarrassing. Yeah, grown was, man onesie that had fox feet. Did Did you go to the same party where Alec and I won the best? Duo costume I for that was for Chris Farley and yes. Patrick Swayze. <laughs> yeah, that was the year, right? Yeah, it was pretty. The, the Chippendale scene. Mm. We were just. It was pretty amazing. <clears throat> yeah. Um, let's go to our list, dude. That we were talking about earlier. Um, so we're about to find <laughs> out who was right with number one on this uh, top ten horror slashers. Oh, we're closing not, our eyes. We're not supposed to we're look. We're supposed to look. All right, go for it. I just make sure uh, go for it. Do you I'm remember? On. Do you remember when uh, we first did that first project? Uh, there was a Halloween, and we just went to Party City, and I got this dollar fucking mask and spray painted it white, mm -hmm. and just had this plain white mask just walking around town, and like the rest, I dressed all in black except for the, except for the face, except for this like white fucking face mask. It's just like the Jabberwockies face mask now at this point that's white <laughs> like it's essentially what it looked like but it was this uh, plain little mask I bought for a dollar spray painted it white and go, that's spooky as fuck and they're like no it isn't and we were walking around Glendora walking down to like the park or something where they had a bonfire it's like alright watch this I'll scare the shit out of every kid we walk by just this fucking white face coming at him like Oh hell no! And then like, yeah. a, like kind of creepy walk toward. You remember any of this? Mm -hmm. I remember, yeah. Then we yeah. ended up like like Foster Freeze or something like that. It well, probably yeah. also helped that you're like seven foot tall, you know. But yeah, I was scared. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, that's not a kid. I should so, wear a mask around my waist too, so it looks like a bunch of kids. You know? So top ten horror mm -hmm. slashers based upon body count, guys. We're gonna start off with number ten, The Leprechaun at fifty body count, dude. That's kind 50. of what. <clears throat> I don't. I was closer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Number two is up there. Okay. Angela Give Baker. Who's Angela Baker? Do you know what that is? Do you know what? what yeah, I went from? to school with her. <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> she got a body count of fifty-five. She got a body count. Let me tell you. <laughs> she was old back a couple years, nurses? but it was really nice when I went to school with her. Like I think she kind of learned to like. Oh, this is By the way, I'm Angela about. Baker's number nine. Uh, number eight is surprising. I thought he would be higher on the list. Sleepaway camp. What's that? Sleep and waking up. Sleep and waking up. <laughs> Sleep and waking up. Sleep and wake camp. Okay, that's where she's from. I, that's where she's from. Fifty-five. Classic Angela, dude. 
Fucking, have you seen that movie? <laughs> Sleep and wake up. Classic. <laughs> Number eight, yeah, surprising to me, guys. With a sixty-three body count, we got Freddy Krueger. Like Freddy Krueger would have more than that, right? Yeah, yeah, right. There's, I mean, wait, wait. How many Freddy Krueger movies have there been? Oh fuck. Well, okay, yeah. And then <laughs> Jessica's like, does, that, does that count the remakes? Because well, like, I mean, they did the remake with them. That's a good question. Is the, it? Does it then, count as a like, kill? And if you kill somebody in the remake? But hear me out, like. If he kills the same person in the remake, is it another body but look count? At num- look at number six. Number six now has a TV hold on, hold on, show. Hold on, don't, don't skip number yeah, seven. I'm, just not, oh, okay, I'm okay, not okay. discrediting okay. it, but like number six has a TV show. Do you count only the movie as opposed to TV? It's all a matter of when this list was made, to be honest. It's been 14 movies. 14 Freddy Krueger movies and only just so 63? So he's killed one person per? Because no. He has a, he has a 63 is Freddy Krueger's count. And I find that kind of like, you know, and you said 14 movies? One of his first ones. Was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 14 movies, 60 body count. I'd say he was kind of weak, dude. He didn't fucking... kill that many people in a movie, though. Yeah. Although one of my favorite scenes is the fucking cockroach fucking arm-breaking weightlifting scene <laughs> in the fucking movie. You know what you're talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoo, that shit's fucking crazy. Uh, go with number seven, Rob. Victor Crowley. Who is that guy? 64. Where's Victor Crowley from? Do you know? Does anybody know? Hatchet? Hatchet. There we go. 64. That wasn't even on the list above either. No. Yeah. That's crazy. And number six. Chucky. Chucky was fucking slaying dudes. It's just 67. Because of the pizza. I guess uh, slaying dudes. the Chucky e. Cheese franchise is really doing good. It's killed 67 <laughs> people so far. Dude. Uh, I think most of those are fighting parents. Right? Child's so, Player is some of the fucking funniest the horror movies out there, dude. I laugh so hard second, every time. Dude. Really? 67. So number five, we got Jigsaw with 86. I'm right? putting that to question because I'm watching all these movies from beginning and I don't think he killed 86 people. Well, but he never is killed it like, anybody. Well, right? neither did Charles Manson. That's true. Uh, so yeah, that's but Charles was... Manson, I don't think locked. Some well, see, here's where the Jigsaw one gets a little confusing because you're right. There's because. moments where it's not the same killer. Right. No, but the, you know, it's right? all the words. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah, but then technically he never killed anybody. That, they killed they themselves. They killed themselves because the they didn't. That they yeah. had to make to... And then we move to number four, which is The Invisible Man. Man. 1993. 122, 122 people. The Invisible Man was killing people, man. Bro, he was fucking slaying. Well, I got to check this out. Wow. All right, here we go. Number three. Big, big hitters. Michael Myers, 160 plus. Wait, but it says 160 plus. Yeah. I would say that's they're more. They're making the movies, bro. No, <laughs> no, I think, they're, I think they're done. With Halloween <laughs> ends, I think they're kind of done now. Bro, they'll find a way. And to I, I expected, they found a way to ruin the franchise. I <laughs> expected Michael Myers to be pretty high pretty on the list. Pretty high up there. And then we've got Jason, Jason Voorhees, Voorhees at with 163 plus. Hmm. So. That's a toss up between those two then, because they're both in the 60s plus. But Jason Voorhees, I was close, dude. He was number two. It's going to be Mariah Carey. Number one, oh, glitter. Number one. Mariah Carey and glitter. Number one, one. is going to be Pinhead. Oh, it's fucking Pinhead, dude. You called Pinhead, right? 321 body count, dude. Josh okay. was thinking about Pinhead, right? You just spoke before me. <laughs> pinhead popped in my <laughs> mind, but I was thinking Jason Voorhees. But in the back of my mind, a Pinhead no, was even, like, you I would have thought the Pinhead. Pinhead's just the one with because, like the box, right? Well, yeah, he's got the, the keys, got the needles. Yeah, 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 I know who he is, but I mean, like, there's like the, the box. Head? Yeah. Wasn't there oh. a uh, a Hellraiser movie that was almost like a softcore porn? <laughs> At some point? I think you bought the wrong movie, bro. <laughs> no, I'm done. <laughs> Boner razor. There was a softcore porn movie and seemed to help. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a softcore porn movie for all of these two. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're probably right. If you look at the wrong, if you look at the right side, Halloweeny. Halloweeny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Friday the Thirteenth Inch. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> What else you got? That was a good one. Oh, shit. Friday the 13th. <laughs> oh, no. I think I should stay away from child's play. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Cut that one out of there. 
front end of the 13th inch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck, dude. So you're fucking right on the money. You're dude. on. Fucking pinhead, man. But you know who I, I think has a higher kill count than <laughs> that? And we should all be fucking really scared of? John Wick. John Wick, dude. John Wick, don't fuck around. There's man. only four movies, and that guy's got like 400 plus kills. It's like fucking ridiculous. Did you see that he wanted to to, to, to die in the last one? Shut but your he, mouth. He did. Yeah, we're you not. We're, shut your but he's mouth not. Right now. He's he's not. Do more? Yeah. John Wick is a phenomenal yeah. fucking franchise, man. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Uh, to see, ah, oh, dude, I was so close with Jason Voorhees. I, I thought the 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 top one, two, and three: Pinhead, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, and Michael Myers. Leatherface I mean, didn't even make the list. That's crazy. He didn't make the list, dude. I mean, I mean he was always chasing fools with the chainsaw. Did he get him? He's got yeah. people, yeah. Hell, there's people. He, oh yeah, he got people. I mean, he's but, all yeah. seven. <laughs> He got like two. I mean, yeah, you know, it's pretty but bad. But then again, like you have like Ghostface, the where it was man. like different people each time, right? Ooh. Yeah, but that's the, <laughs> what the, what the fuck, fuck, are fuck are we is this? Yeah. Oh, that's the candy <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> those are those little. I really uh, wish you could put that on the screen behind us. <laughs> he's dressed as a Laffy Taffy. So here's some of the worst costumes, man. This guy's dressed like lips. <laughs> It's Not vagina. on the face. Where is he at? Oh, is that what he is? <laughs> he's like, he's like <laughs> it weirdly reminds me of the shark costume from. Uh, this guy looks in the mirror the, and still can't find himself. It's the, like the fucking the sharks, Katie, Katie, Perry, Katie Perry, Perry sharks, but they're vaginas. <laughs> but they're vaginas. That's what it looks like to face. me. <laughs> I thought it was baby shark for a second. <laughs> oh wow! Holy shit, dude! So. Uh, we just pulled up a picture of a dude dressed as a vagina and his head is uh, the clit. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> Holy crap. Do you have any more to pull up, Jess? <laughs> no, you're good. Let's be careful of this. Now, would that be on the good list or the bad list? Would that, oh, would, well, Dressing up like a vagina for Halloween? If you're at an adult party, it's on the good list. If you're yeah. walking around town, <laughs> not so, I would say let's not. I think do you're going to end up on a registry you don't want to be on. <laughs> So, uh, oh, the oh, other bad costume, uh, dressed as a coronavirus. I've seen that costume. That's yeah, a, I saw a picture. There's two Corona bottles, the beer. They were dressed up. And they oh, had two Coronas? Yeah, they oh. had some other shit going on. It yeah. was coronavirus. A used tampon uh, ranks pretty high up there, dude. Uh, it's pretty fucking gross. You What's an egg plopped? An egg, egg plopped? Plop. Eggplant? Is that supposed to be oh, eggplant? Okay. okay. An no, eggplant. Like, <laughs> Could have dressed as an egg paps. <laughs> Which is the universal emoji for a wiener, guys. You know what I mean? What? Eggplants, dude. <clears throat> it goes back to that Friday the 13th inch. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That would be a uh, that'd be a good parody right there. Friday the 13th inch? Yeah. Uh, dude. Yeah. How's your slaying fools? Slaying <laughs> fools. Uh, spear box. Yes. Oh, yeah. We got what spear a box. Hell of a transition, bro. <laughs> spear box. <laughs> Off from that box to the spear box. From that box, from one box to another, spear guys. Box. I don't think that's <laughs> how we got the name, right? but yeah, transition we'll go with it. Right there. Transition. Uh, we had we Spear right Box in. just dropped a new single. Spear Box has been dropping singles the last is, few days. Yeah. What is... We need we need the name of that song up there. I don't remember it. Seller. A uh, seller. Seller. seller correct. Yeah. Right. Sorry, I'm a few. Well, in, guys. they dropped a few. That's why I'm like, wait, which one was it? Seller was the one. Uh, pretty heavy. What or did you dude, think? Courtney's vocals are fucking amazing, dude. And she just keeps getting better with her screams and her, if you want to call them gutturals and shit like that. She's just fucking phenomenal. And what's great about it is that she's got a great clean vocal too you know what I mean like she didn't even have to go that route if she didn't want to mm -hmm. and she's just fucking killing it on both ends that's phenomenal what'd you think of the songs Danny I like it um, like I said it's it's probably one of the heavier songs I've heard of theirs mm -hmm. I'm gonna say next to like Holy Roller yeah. Rule of Nines you know it's, it's up there in that kind of heavy of a song um, I like it well you Josh you fans of uh, Spirit Box? Yeah, the new single's cool. I think one of my favorite songs is Sun Killer, one of the okay. older ones. Yeah. But this is definitely one of the newer, heavier songs, because for a while, it wasn't they went poppy, but when they came out, it was 
like right in your face heavy and then it almost seemed like they went a little radio friendly for a couple songs yeah and now they're going back to the heavier stuff yeah it, it, the last couple songs they've done seem to be pretty heavy well once they got that foot great. in the door for radio friendly they just kicked that bitch in like yeah. now we're now it's fucking well it's you know i mean yeah. you know how it goes you you do what you give you give a few you take a few you know mm-hmm. you do you get to do you and you get to do what they want and He's describing fucking Friday the 13th entry. <laughs> the 13th entry, you get, you get what you want, you know? Mm-hmm. You get that yeah. 13th entry. Get a little, little, get a little. Yeah. Yeah. What about little. you, Rob? How'd you feel about the song? Oh, no. I, I was, uh, was kind of a little blown away by it. It seemed like they were trying to mess with timing and structure a little bit, the way they put it together. Um, but I just thought of another movie was The Leprechaun. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm the leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that was a porn too. Played by Hosmala, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> but then it just sounds like a, a leper cock. So <laughs> leper oh, cock. Like oh, 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 got like leprosy. So you just, this is like this cock that fucks. Oh, <laughs> the grand song is detachable penis. penis. Oh, that sounds a good song. <laughs> detachable penis. It's yeah. a good song. You guys, I think we can start wrapping this shit up. Uh, we are the last days of war you guys if you are in Southern California Rancho Cucamonga area on this Saturday October 28th we will be playing at Goodfellas in Rancho Cucamonga um, great way to support the band check out the link in our bios we got merch we have links to everything subscribe to our YouTube thank you so much we love you hugs and kisses we're out catch us next week catch us next week happy holidays yeah